Are you feeling lost and unsure of how to create a UX ASA study for your portfolio? Or maybe you're looking to create your very first portfolio case study that will leave a lasting impression. I'm going to give you a walkthrough of how I structure my portfolio in five steps and how I do it from scratch until the end. I remember when I was just graduated and I wanted to apply for UX design jobs, I didn't know where to start start and I didn't even know which idea for my case study to choose so I know completely how you're feeling and I got your back I can assure you that it's so simple and easy so let's get into it first we're gonna go into Google Docs with your content structure let's go so the first step is that you need to create your content structure and your case study outline in the Google Docs so this is a Google Docs and then here I have a project uh, template for you. You can use it as your own template. And uh, so you can see my content structure here. Um, I have the project title, project overview, which has some of the sub pages, and then problem statement, my design process, and my results. So, uh, you don't have to like have uh, personas or like stickies on your case study. I mean, my point is that you don't have to. I see so many UX case studies that have like so much uh, research going on and so much like personas going on, but they don't have enough visuals. So make sure that you have a balance between them and I think that if you don't have any personas, then your case study is not good. So um, it depends like uh, how you're gonna approach your career. Do you wanna become a UX UI designer? So then you have to have more prototypes, more mockups, more visuals on your case study. So this is the first point that you need to consider. If you wanna become a UX researcher, then you can put your uh, personas, you can put your like interview process and everything. But um, if you are a junior designer and you just started, uh, you can have them, but like don't focus too much on your content. Anyways, remember to add your visuals more because it's gonna be more impressive and visually appealing. So this is my project title. So I have race content cars. This is what I did for Simply Financial. I'm a senior UX designer at CIBC. So this is one of my uh, projects that is uh, launched and I wrote a case study for that. So the project overview has project summary. You can explain what was the like project about, how was the scope of the project, and it's a very high level overview of your project. And then your role and the duration of the project. So for example, oops. Um, so yeah, just um, explain what was your role and uh, what was um, your responsibilities for your project, what did you do and did you collaborate with the uh, devs or did, were you a solo designer for this project? And then the timeline, so how long does the, does the project took for you? Then we have the problem statement. So here you can explain what was the uh, problem for the users and what was the their pain points. And this problem statement is very important. It's the reason that you uh, decided to work on this case study. So make sure that it's clear and then uh, just give your solution. Uh, just uh, give your idea or solution of the problem here and then the project goals what's the thing that you're going after by this case study and then start by your design process the research uh, so i started my process by research by doing competitive analysis of the other industry leaders and other competitors and then i uh, explained the design requirements that we had 
and then uh, yeah and then here I also when I'm writing the Google Docs I also think about how what images am I gonna put inside there like what are the mock-ups that I'm gonna put there so um, yeah just uh, think about that as well you can see I have Microsoft banner captioned and classic designs and then I have my design concept so some of the uh, design options that I thought about as you can see I don't have I don't I didn't cover personas or I didn't cover my um, ideation process I covered it but I covered it in a more visually uh, approach so I have my uh, design uh, options here and I'm uh, and I also thought about to put the visuals the images of those um, like of those options underneath each of them and then you need to cover for example the challenge you faced like what was the uh, problem and what was the challenge during the project and uh yeah you can uh have i here i have like it was pretty tricky to balance between design and accessibility and then your um, and then i have my user interaction document i have like i think i'm gonna put some of the mocks and uh, the photos and then user testing and um i just have a background of the like user testing and uh, what uh, the testing scenarios and the testing goals and then here again i'm having uh, images and then my study plan is confidential and then um the key findings so what were what was the like uh, main uh, things that we found after the testing and then the conclusion what was the result and what we uh, what was the final des design decision that I look after and then uh, the I have my uh, process for uh, creating the visual design components for handing off to the devs and then uh, again I'm gonna put some images so and you also it's very important that you have to show your results of the project so what was the result did you have any client growth did you decrease your drop-off rate what was the results you need to also consider to think about the results of your work as well because it's very impressive for the hiring managers that you, they, then they can see that you have a sense of leadership and ownership over the product you did a like impactful job on their product okay the next step is creating your visuals on figma try to create visuals and mockups in your figma and just design them and make them pretty and uh, you also need to consider that i see some like people take screenshots directly from figma don't do that that way if you take screenshots from figma then uh, you show that show the uh, your website visitors or show you show the recruiters that you didn't care enough to spend time to make your mockups ready as a visual person as you can see here for example this is the thumbnail that i created for my case study so you can see that i also tried out uh like doing this kind of work and just doing a mobile mockup so i played out with different uh, backgrounds and my like working process is so messy but yeah this is how i work and uh, so you can see that for example I use the photography and made a mock-up here and um, yeah I also like thought about the positioning on the website and how it's gonna look so that I can see visually what's uh, what it's uh, gonna be in the final uh, website so um, yeah so as you can see for example I lay out everything in Figma and uh, the step three is that you need to get a like template from webflow i suggest webflow because it's a really easy to customize and it's um the like best platform other than other platforms such as 
uh, for example, Shopify, WordPress, or Squarespace. I really like Webflow because you don't need to about how to code or yeah, you don't need to touch a line of code and it has a like visual canvas like Figma that um, you can easily customize your website and it's also very flexible and have a really unique and very modern looking uh, portfolio case study. Free. Free portfolio. Here. So just, yeah, just uh, use one of these and use one for free. It's very simple. So let me show you mine. So the CMS collections projects. So you can see I have each uh, each of my uh, case studies has its own collection. So the Webflow CMS gives you full control over your case study content. It stands for Content Management System and all of the dynamic content is stored and maintained here and uh, the uh, website references that dynamic content on different pages so anytime you create or change any uh, content in the cms it all updates on all of the pages and various reference instantly step four is reference the template and make your mock-up in figma based on that so uh, this template that i bought uh, also provided me with a figma uh, design so um, here you can see that i have the uh, figma um, template from the portfolio and then I just changed the images and I changed the content and changed the text content with the uh, with my own uh, stuff. So as you can see, I laid out everything <coughs> here in Figma so that I can see, and then I uploaded everything uh, so that you can see how it's gonna look uh, in the final website. Step five is put your content in the Webflow. Finally, now you can just uh, copy, copy and paste your content uh, from your Google Docs here. Just copy and paste uh, to the Webflow uh, CMS collections so uh, so that the webflow can reference everything to that and then you can put your images and everything comes in order so that's great now i recommend you to go and make your own case study portfolio website and like this video if it was helpful subscribe to my channel for more portfolio tips thanks guys bye